everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today, um, I'm so excited to do this video because um, I'm showing a pattern that I just really um, took a liking to the minute I saw it, and it's a new pattern um, that's a paper store exclusive uh, with Vera Bradley. It's called Beach Twall. Um, I'm, a, I'm definitely a beach person, I'm a water person, and a hot weather person, and so this was bound to, <laughs> this was bound to be uh, appealing to me. It is kind of a print I would call a novelty print, and you can find it on the paper store website. Um, but for me, pattern placement is of course an issue, and uh, <laughs> So it's a little challenging because there, there are parts of this pattern that I like better than others and elements that I definitely wanted to get in it. Um, and so I have to give a shout out to um, Karen from the uh, focus group, the Vera Bradley focus group that I'm in because she lives near, relatively near some paper stores, some actual brick and mortar stores. And she was lovely enough to offer to um, go to a few stores when she they were on her way when she was um, going somewhere recently and she offered to stop and look for me and I think a few other Vera fans um, for some items in, in this um, pattern which is called Beach Toil and she showed me she took photos and let me pick the pattern placement you know from uh, through texting and Really, it's just a, a, such a kind and generous thing to offer to do, and I just really want to thank her again. Um, and the check's in the mail <laughs> today. Um, and she's also been someone, there have been a handful of women in this focus group who know about um, how devastated I've been over the loss of my dog, Duke, and who have checked in on me um, sort of privately. Uh, over you know occasionally just to see how I'm doing she's one of them Michelle is another one thank you um, and there are a few others um, and Karen was one and and the first one actually and so I just I appreciate that very much and this is just another example of how kind uh, what a great group of, of ladies um, are, are in this group so this is Beach Toil, and uh, this is the I, the Vera Tote. Um, the tag is still on it, <laughs> so I can see what they're calling it, whether it's iconic still. Tag still says iconic Vera Tote. Um, and I do have a lot of videos on this tote, and I know I'm always saying, well, I'll, uh, you can get specifics in another video, but for people who, you know, don't want to have to cull through all the videos and the playlists and whatever, I am going to go over the features of this a little bit more in depth, even though it sort of repeats some of the other videos, but people may not have seen those videos, so in case people find it helpful. But just to talk about the, well, I get the tags out of the way, just to talk about the pattern first. Uh, I'm sure people, most people know what a toile is, and so this is sort of a, uh, I feel like they're paying, playing a little fast and loose with the term toile here, but okay, I'll give it to them. Uh, I get why they're doing that, sort of these scenes on top of a background, sketchy scenes on top of a background. Um, I do, like I said, I do think this is kind of a novelty print. Uh, the color is coming out. I'm, I'm a little dark here, but the, this is, is pretty accurately exposed. And I would say the bag, the blue tone is fairly accurate here in person. It might be just a little, have a little bit more green in it, so it's a little bit more aqua color. Um, it, it really is like the, you know, water in the Caribbean. <laughs> it's very, it's a very bright, beachy kind of aqua color. So if, you know, if that's, if it's a little, if that, if you're not a, a bright, color person this might be a little much for you and like I, I say it is a novelty print for me um, maybe normally I wouldn't carry something quite so bright but I just had to have the thing the beach motif I had to have it <laughs> I 
And when you have such a large bag and such a light color, it tends to, I think, look even bigger. So this, this looks, I'll, I'll load it up with stuff because I have, my real bag of the day here is this Vera tote in Foxwood. Um, so I'll just transfer. I can transfer stuff from here into here just so people can see how I pack it up and what can fit in here. But I do think they're the same size, but this looks bigger. <laughs> I also will show it in comparison to the, um, I have the small Vera tote so people can get a sense of the size difference. The, the part of the pattern that was very important to me to get was the lighthouse, probably because I spent summers uh, growing up uh, always uh, vacationing on Long Beach Island in New Jersey, people who are familiar with that area. To me, there's nothing like New Jersey beaches. They are really nice. The, the actual water and the sand and the, the like the, the way the, the beaches are formed just gets you a very nice uh, depth of water for swimming and, and uh, enjoying. It's, there's just nothing like the Jersey Shore. And um, we always used to go to Barney the Light, which has the lighthouse, Old Barney, which is half red and half white. Um, and this kind of reminded me of that. And so I had to have the lighthouse. It's very important. The thing is, there are lots of, oh, I'm slipping, <laughs> there's lots of other elements in this pattern and sometimes it's a little busy. And so if you get the, if you get the lighthouse, you're also getting this sort of um, railing with the beach towels hanging out to dry on top of it, which I'm not crazy about. And so Karen had, had taken a photo, uh, photographs of a couple of other bags and some of them had, had a, a lighthouse here but they also had one here and one over here and I was really not realizing I was getting a lot of this and so I passed on those there was also one with a lighthouse up here which I passed on because I knew my arm was going to cover it when I put the bag on my shoulder this is much better for that you know for visibility when I'm actually wearing the bag and then I thought that the, the sailboat uh, and the life preserver was a nice uh, detail to have. Also the seagull there, and this is a, my favorite seagull, comes by the lighthouse. So this is really the only one I got. Um, seagulls are my favorite bird. I love birds. Seagulls are my favorite bird. And that's probably also why I like this pattern so much when I saw the seagulls. <laughs> and then you get this. This is great. All these scallop shells, sand dollar, starfish up there, a hermit crab, it's just really, really great. Uh, they, they covered all their bases. Muscle shells. This is this lighting is good right here. This is accurate now. The way the light shifted. This is accurate for the background color. So you can see it's got it's a little bit brighter. Ooh, well, my hand was in there. It was brighter. Now it's gotten a little darker. <laughs> uh, filming on a laptop is always a challenge. Anyway, this says have so the. Uh, Iconic Vera tote, and I will measure it. On the front has a slip pocket, and on top of that is a zipper pocket, and they have recently changed this zipper. Um, so it used to be that rough metal zipper that I couldn't stand, and so I never used this pocket, but they've changed it to that plastic zipper that sort of just emulates the look of the um, metal zipper, which is great. I don't mind the way it looks. like the, Yes, I did think the metal was a little bit uh, chunkier looking than this, so I like this. It's a little bit more streamlined and elegant looking, but I don't mind the silver color and it's soft. So that's great. I feel like I've got a feature back on the bag that I never used to use before. The back of the bag doesn't have any pockets, so you just have the pattern. Um, it's another lighthouse. So I wasn't so crazy about you know the beach bag with the hat. I'm not one to wear straw hats at a beach. Not, not a big fan of the paddles there. Um, do you like the anchor? I think the anchor is great. Because if you spend any time in a old school beach town, you're going to see that the anchors everywhere. The sand castle there. Yeah, more shells. And so it just has a very nice, there's the lifeguard chair. Very nice hand-drawn um, look 
to it. It almost reminds me a little bit of the um, illustrations in the children's book, uh, Eloise, if people are familiar. There's just something about the quality of it where you really do feel the hand in the drawings. There, that background color looks more accurate. The light on it is good now. That just went a little darker. <laughs> There's another beach chair. I like the straps here too that I got the uh, life preserver on the strap. And that, that's the back side strap though. The front strap is not as great. I did notice that it's got the upside down sailboat. <laughs> so not, not great there, but you know, um, I, I just love the pattern placement on this. I like the balance of it. I think it's well balanced. Uh, it's very pleased, and she, Karen, had she stopped at a number of paper stores for for people, <laughs> myself included, and and did photograph bags in every store. And this was like one of the I think this was from the first store, and I just stuck with this one because um, the balance was good and the elements were were good. Also, I felt like you know she that had uh, she had offer that she would buy she bought this one for me, and then. She said, well, I'll go to the other stores, and uh, if you like one better, I'll return this one there, and I'll get the other one. And I just thought, that's a, that's a big effort. I mean, that's a very generous thing to offer to do. But it's a lot of effort on her part. And so if I was going to do that, it really had to be, you know, an obvious, outstanding improvement. And I, uh, Because that's a lot of trouble to put someone through. Um, and so I, I, none of them, it didn't seem worth it. didn't seem worth the trouble. This was good enough. And I'm so pleased with it. Um... Okay, so another feature, the top zipper, a soft plastic zipper, uh, as, as it's always been, slightly recessed, back to ribbon pull ties, which is, you know, great. And the inside is a cut, more cotton-like fabric, and it is, if I can get it good, just tiny little fish. So very cute. I love fish. And that strong blue uh, background color does match the this color. Um, and interior, the interior configuration is just six large slip pockets, no zipper pockets inside. Three on each wall. You can see them there. Uh, okay, so measurements. Across the top, it's about 17 inches. Top to bottom is about 14. And side to side when it's sort of flat, with nothing in it, it's about 19. So, huge bag. Strap Straps are padded, which is nice, and 12-inch strap drop. And the base is not removable. It's just, there's something in there that's sort of soft. It's giving it a little structure and support. It's not removable. I have washed a number of my large and small Vera totes, and they've gone through the wash fine. And then I uh, put stuff in them. I don't put them in the dryer. Cold water always. And then I wrap some towels in a plastic bag and I put them in here as like a form to help help it dry in a nice shape. A 15, the base is almost 15 by a six. And Karen, you had been asking, you had pointed out the base, the sort of wonkiness of the base uh, when she was Picking the, the bag up for me, she said she noticed the base was very bent out of shape. She was kind of, she found it a little alarming. And um, I see, when it came to me, I saw what she was talking about. Because of the way they ship these now, they ship them flat. And so this folds, you know, the, 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 t the, the bag is folded down the center seam on the bottom. And so that, whatever that piece of stiffener is in there, it folds also, and then sometimes it can sort of feel like it's slipped out of place a little bit, or it's not flattening out nicely. And that was definitely happening with this. It was, it was definitely the 
most dented, wonkiest, kind of out of position feeling one I've gotten of a Vera Toast. I have a lot of them now. But I was able to just sort of push it back into place, work it back into place. So, and I've been storing it with stuff in it, and so that's helped. Um, not, not was not concerned about it. Not, I mean, when she told me about it, I, I thanked her, and I, I said I'm not too concerned, and I, it, it's just what I thought it would be. It's a shame that they have to ship in that way, but they, you know, what are they going to do? I, since they're not doing the removable piece of cardboard anymore. Um, there has to be a way to flatten them because they can't store them. They can't store them and ship them in shape. Yeah, you know, it takes up too much space. So, unfortunately, okay. And so, those are the dimensions on that. What did I say? 14 by about 19, and the top opening is about 17. This is a small Vera, and this is sure thing. Just thought I'd keep it beachy. I only have three small Vera's. They're a little too small for me, um, but certain patterns I just had to have for one reason or another. Like I have one in dragon fruit floral because it didn't come in the large. So, uh, so you can see that's a real difference. I will measure this. I just thought it would also be nice to show them because you can really see the difference in the type of blue. This is much paler. This is a real blue statement. <laughs> a real light blue statement. And just real quick, the dimensions on this smaller one across the top, about 13 to 14, top to bottom, 10. Yep. And across the body of the bag, it's sort of flattened out. It's about 15. The base, same kind of base, 11 by 5. The one was 6, sort of in that thickness. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple things in here. Uh, oh, and before, actually, before I do that, I just um, want to show something else that I, I, I ordered this from the paper store is the throw that goes with it, the beach toile throw. I just love it. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to get to fit into the shot because it's real big. The elements are big on this. But oh, there's that uh, lighthouse there. It's not exactly like Old Barney, for people who are familiar with Old Barney, but it's close enough for, for me. Uh, I had to have it. It's another shell. It's also like a conch shell or something. A little fish. Moving on to the uh, sailboat. And then scallop shells, and a beach lifeguard chair. That's an important one to get, I feel like. Important element. I mean, the, the throws all, are all going to be the same. You don't have to worry about pattern placement. <laughs> On the other side of the throw. Oh, there at the, the top, there are seagulls that I love so much. I like seagulls because I feel like they have, they're, they're feisty, they are scrappy, they are uh, aggressive. I love the sound, I love that call. And there are so many, you know, such a variety of, of them. And of course, you know, it reminds me of the beach, so that's part of why I like them so much. That and morning doves. Morning doves remind me of the beach too because we would always hear them on Long Beach Island as well in the morning. Yeah, flip flops. And there. Oh, that starfish. That anchor again. Oh, that sand dollar. Sand dollar is nice. 
going down to the um, this is a sandcastle somewhere. There's a rowboat. Rowboat. I mean, I guess okay. Some the the lifeguards had their rowboats, but um, that's not as important an element for me. Although I think it's okay. Where was the uh, it's a sandcastle somewhere? There's a bit beach bag. That's my least favorite, I think, element here, the beach bag and the hat. It, that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> oh, find a sand castle. I know there is one. <laughs> oh, there it is, the very top. And this color, um, again, is a little coming out a little on the cool blue side. I mean, um, it's a cool color, but it's got more blue or so, so more red in it uh, than green. But in person, it is more of an aqua, a light aqua color. So it does have more, a little bit of green in it that gives it a less sky blue kind of a look. It's less sky blue than it's looking here. It's more like a water, a Caribbean water kind of color. Like that, that beautiful Bahamian water color, you know, or if you're, you know, if you're familiar with Key West, you're getting into that area. You don't even have to leave the country. If you get to the Florida Keys, that the water's starting to look that, that pale aqua color. It's just so gorgeous. Oh, that conch shell there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I love the um, the deeper kind of red goldfish. I mean, that's a, there's a light, there's a lighter one there, but I love that red on on this blue ground. Love that combo. Always have. It was a while there years ago when Dolce and Gabbana was doing some their fashion line um, for that season was combining like a baby blue with red and I just love that it was great so this is your basic you know same size as your other throws and I do feel that I have been finding now that I, I have a couple of throws now which is unfortunate I, I have for a while was not interested in the throws at all and now I'm getting into them and I have no storage space so it's a problem I, I need another house <laughs> um, but I do feel like the signature line throws have a slightly better feel to them, hand feel to them than the factory outlet throws. Still, I have factory outlet throw and I love it. Um, and I will buy more if I like a pattern. It won't keep me from buying them. I think they're soft enough. Um, and I have washed both the signature line and the factory outlet line throws, no problem. No change in the texture of the blanket, no pilling, no falling apart, no losing of a fleece, they came they went through fine um but i do feel like the signature line throws even the pet blanket have a slightly softer smoother feel than the factory outlet ones which feel like a little bit like rougher almost not quite as soft so um that's just me okay so that's that i'll get this out of the way i'm sure some dog will come over onto it throw up <laughs> Um, and so now let me just load up. So this is my foxwood and I, I, I'm going to carry this when I run out. I do have to run out and there's a lot in there. Um, and I'll, maybe it, it'll show up better in this other bag because it's a lighter bag, but I do have my larger laptop today. Just thought that would be interesting to throw in there. People could see, I might not take this with me, but sometimes I do. Now you can see how, how big it is. I mean, it just slips right in there, no problem. Take my Carson cell phone crossbody and I put that in one of the more front facing inner slip pockets there. So I know where it is, I always just reach for it. Um, I have my charger cord pouch, which is a medium, uh, Lighten Up Medium Cosmetic, which I've been using for forever this way because I like that it flattens out if I need it to. If I don't have a lot in there, like right now I only have one charger cord in there, so I don't need it to 
to be expanded so it flattens out and fits into most of my bags real nice even the smaller ones but yet if I needed to take other cords and it, you know it expands so that that's why I like this this pattern is stitched garden I should have said that this is batik leaves from the um, factory out store I love this pattern and the Carson cell phone cross by was uh, Garden Grove, a newer pattern. Another pattern that I said, I'm not going to be interested in that, and then I ended up with a gazillion things in it, it feels like. Uh, my uh, GPS pouch, and my various ID cases I used to carry photos. Um, with lanyards, just I put the lanyards on there just so it makes them easy to sort of grab if I want to grab them out of my bag and it's a bigger bag. And I switched out my wallet recently. I've been using the um, double accordion wristlet, which I, I feel like is sort of becoming my favorite full size wallet. I know it's a wristlet, I use it as a wallet, but I decided to try the Audrey today. I haven't been out yet with it, so it'll be my first time out with it. But I did notice. In loading it up, that um, there are fewer of these sort of bill slip areas. There are more of them in the um, double accordion wristlet, and I miss those. So while I I was interested in this wallet because it has a lot of card slots, I'm not even using them all, and, and so I do like that. I mean, I I would get another one of these, but I feel like they're all gone. I don't seem to be on the regular website anymore, and. Um, the only other fully fabric one that was in the online outlet sale was that romantic paisley, which I can't I can't stand that pattern. I think it's ugly. Um, but the only other Audrey wallets had this leather. They had leather on the front, and I don't like that. So I haven't, you know, I, I would get another one, but for those reasons, I'm not. But I do like it for all those card slips. But I, like I said, I didn't I didn't notice that I didn't have the same. As many options of where to slip things, um, like coupons, and so they're all together, like with my cash in this one. So that was kind of disappointing. Um, but anyway, so we'll try that out today. See how it goes. <laughs> where should I put this? Put it towards the front too. Put it towards the front. I think that was it. Uh, a couple of other. Just little things in slip pockets and tissues I put in one slip pocket. So it's all in there and still quite a lot of space up top. You know, this is all kind of in the lower half of the bag. So, you know, normally I would put like a sweatshirt or a scarf or shawl or something on top. That's why I'm liking the, the large viewer so much lately. Okay. So you can see, it's, it's as I always say when I put the Vera on, it's big. <laughs> it's a big square bag. You know, people are going to see you coming. <laughs> uh, as usual, please excuse the pet mess. I thought I'd make this video while they're still kind of sleeping before they get all rambunctious. And so, um, you know, if I just put the small one on, you can see just keeping it there's nothing in this but it's keeping its shape well probably because the way I store it with other things inside of it gives it a nice shape other other bags inside of it I don't think I did the strap drop on this oh here's my tape measures on the floor as usual I don't remember if I did the strap drop 12 12 strap drop on this what was this one I don't remember what this one was. My mind is the first thing to go. This is about 13. Let's see if that seems accurate. Yeah, that seems accurate. Just a, a little bit lower on that one. Well, maybe I'll just carry this today. It's so... You know, I tend not to pay attention to seasons, only with certain patterns. There are certain patterns that I just can't 
like autumn leaves. I, I just can't carry that in the summer. <laughs> it's, it's just too brown. Um, and this, this kind of feels a little bit summery. Although there are, like, I do feel some light bags, like Daisy Dot Paisley and Lavender Meadow. They fall into what I would call, like, a winter white category for me. And I do carry them in the winter. I think they look good. So maybe I could sort of say that's what this is. <laughs> you can see the, the base holds pretty flat. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff in there, and the base is keeping its shape enough. I know people are very upset about the loss of the, the changes and the, in the line and the loss of the um, uh, removable cardboard base and the quilted interior slip pockets. I do miss those um, probably more than the removable base. Um, this is a this is a sturdy enough base for me and like I said I haven't had too much trouble with it being misshapen and it, it does seem easy to fix. I haven't got one that's been so out of place I haven't been able to write it. Um, so that's it. Not too long today hopefully. Huh. Oh, I see. That's my average length. <laughs> so I, I ramble on and on, but I just, I, I just love this. I love anything beach theme, and I really do love this. And I'm so pleased with the the placement because it just feels very balanced, and um, I think that that's important. And I did get that lighthouse in a good spot. So again, thank you so much, Karen. I mean, it, it's just. Um, so satisfying uh, I just feel so lucky to have it and also to know someone like you who is willing to um, offer to uh, to help in that way and make somebody else's day a very generous thing to do so once again is beach toile paper store it seems to be a paper store exclusive uh, so just get in there in I mean, if you go to the website, you, they have good photographs on the website, and I feel like you can um, enlarge them and, and get a good look, too, there. There's a seagull down there. Yeah, I was pleased that I got um, a couple of these. Since I, uh, since I only got this grouping, it seems like I only got that grouping once in a decent place. I was pleased I got this in a couple of places. So... Anyway, thanks so much for watching. It was the, uh, the Vera Tote, the larger Vera Tote. Uh, hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.